All right, so this is the last and final phase of the Zoom uh, lessons here uh, on how to conduct an interview uh, and getting your stuff all set up inside Ecamm. So this is uh, the, the last phase if you are interested in uh, doing some sort of uh, overlay where it shows you and the guest uh, so that way you're hiding all of that, uh, you know, Zoom junk in the background, right? So let's go ahead and sort of show you how you can do this. Again, we're, we're going to actually use Canva. Um, the image that you saw here uh, was me playing around with uh, Keynote, okay? Uh, so I mean, you can do this in Keynote, but, uh, you, you know, Canva uh, has a free version. And I'm going to assume that you are on the free version, not the pro version, uh, because the pro version does allow you to do this with a PNG transparent background. Uh, so I'm going to show you how you can do this without, uh, out having a pro version and just doing this with Canva and stuff. But uh, anyways, uh, let's go ahead. Uh, and the first thing that you need to do is, uh, I mean, you're going to get your shot all set up as, as it is right here, right? You're going to get your picture in picture placed where you want it. You're going to get your guest zoomed in where you want it. And then you're just going to like freeze right there. I mean, you're going to kind of lock this up and you're going to want to do a screenshot uh, of this here of the, of this layout, because you're, you're going to use that as a reference. So on a Mac, it's command shift four. Uh, you'll see this little crosshair on the cursor and you can go up here to the very tip top, right? And then go all the way down and, Go ahead and snap the image. Now, uh, a lot of times this will be on your desktop. If you haven't used this already, other people have set it up. Maybe it goes in your documents. Maybe it goes, in. anyways, I have mine set up in a special way where it saves it into a Dropbox file. So that way I can access it on all the computers and stuff. But anyways, went ahead, I saved it. Now it's time to go into uh, Canva. So if you've never used Canva before, it is pretty neat. Um, I, I did end up purchasing the pro version, but uh, where we want to go here is when, whenever you sign in is uh, over here presentations, because this is the aspect ratio that we are wanting. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Um, now the next thing that we, we need to do is we, we sort of need to, uh, you know, pick pick like a background that you think that you would like. Okay. So you click the background over here and you have access to a lot of, uh, a lot of different backgrounds and stuff. Okay. So for this, I'm just going to go ahead and choose this one right now. Uh, like, like I said, that part's free. Uh, and then the next thing we need to do is we need to go up to uploads and uh, you're going to go ahead and upload your image that you just snapped. Okay. So anyways, I, I already have mine. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on it. And then I'm just going to make this as big as uh, the background here. Right. So there we go. Okay. <clears throat> now the, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the, um, the elements, and then they have stuff down here uh, where it gives me shapes. So I'm going to click on that, and I, I want this to be a, a solid color uh, that is going to be very recognizable. Um, uh, something that would be easily, uh, you, you'll see we're going to use a uh, Mac program to sort of trace this for us. But anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, expand this to the picture size, and, and I want it to cover up all of the stuff that I want to hide from my viewers, right? So maybe I just want to have the donkey picture right there. Now you can uh, change the transparency for right now just to see where this thing is at. And I'm going to go ahead and go just a little bit more, a little bit more there. And I, a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shove this. Um, together into mine maybe, right? So I'll go ahead and uh, make some overlapping stuff. So I'll go do that. I'm going to change the transparency back to high and I'm going to copy that command C and then I'm going to paste it. And then I'm going to do the same thing for me over here, right? So I'll go ahead and do this here and do that there. Okay. And again, we'll take a look at the transparency 
And I think that's good. Okay. So now, now that we have uh, these red boxes on there, uh, it's time to delete our um, our snapshot that we took. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be the frames. And now we can go ahead and add another block here uh, for their name tag, right? So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And let me go over here to the text. And I'm just going to go right here. And we can change the size of this. And I'll put donkey. And then we'll make it black. Okay, <clears throat> select both of those. Um, go ahead and copy them here and paste them. And then I can go over here and we'll change the text from donkey to myself, right? So now, now we're good. Um, I'm going to keep these things red for now. Uh, you'll see why later. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this download button. Uh, the thing that you want to make sure that you do is uh, you, you can select PNG. And, uh, you, you know, for me, I have that option because it's the pro, you know, they try to get you to go pro. Uh, but I'm going to leave it unchecked because I want to simulate as if I am not a pro member. I'm going to click download. And now the design is being downloaded. Uh, you can see down here it's donkey one. And this is where you're going to have to go into your uh, preview editor. Again, I, I want to do everything that uh, a normal person would have on their Macintosh. Uh, so I'm going to go into uh, Open With, and you want to select Preview. You know, even if you have, I mean, if you do have, if you know, if you do know Photoshop or Infinity and stuff, you can use it. But I'm going to go ahead and use Preview. All right. So this showed up here. Um, now I'm going to use this right here, markup. If you don't see this in your toolbar, you can right click customize toolbar and you see this little markup thing, you can go ahead and drag and drop that into your toolbar and it will show up. Okay. Uh, it does have something on here where I, I call it like a magic wand. You click on it, you select the red, you know, you can click drag and select uh, and it will select that entire red. So see, I got a little too greedy there. And you see these little, uh, they, they call them like marching ants that are going around everything. You can go ahead and hit the delete key and everything should be good. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to file, save. And the next thing, I'm, you know, I'm done with this. I can go ahead and go back into Ecamm Live. I can go over here to my overlays. If you guys don't see your overlays, it should be Windows Overlays. And now you can go ahead and click on this button here, Add Overlay. And let's go ahead and go to my Downloads folder, Donkey1, and put it on there. So now I am in there with my guest, and that's what uh, my Facebook viewers are going to see. Okay. Now again, if I did not uh, like this kind of layout, maybe I could have uh, opted to, uh, you, you know, in my canvas here, I can go back here, go back into canvas, and I can say, you know what, I, I really want a border between me and the person, right? So now I can do that and go, you know, and save that and go back to uh, preview and actually crop out this, crop out this, hit delete, right? So that, that again, just, just other ways to, to tweak things, but Canva is a, a really great, uh, really great resource for you if you are looking to sort of, uh, you know, spice up your uh, design and stuff, okay? But hopefully all that made sense. If you liked this series, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you have questions, comment. And if there's anything else that we can do for you here, uh, let me know. All right. So with that, I'm Rob and I'll see you next time.